So welcome guys. Uh, today is 2020 April 20th. Okay, and uh, very glad to see you guys here. Long time no see. Because uh, we have the coronavirus in the, in the whole world, right? And uh, we see the gold, we see the oil, or all have the crazy move. Okay. Uh, so let's start from the gold first. Okay. So the gold, uh, I think in my last post, uh, is actually a short from uh, 1275, sorry, 1675, I think. Yeah, and that trade was uh, closed uh, manually because it actually break the level here, okay? and uh, because the, the coronavirus infected the USA economy, and I said, um, we don't want to hold the gold short anymore. And in fact, if you use this as a good structure, the previous acting as a resistance, okay, you can actually uh, find your breakout and the pullback strategy, okay? And that actually can earn you this, uh, uh, this uh, rally, okay? And in last week, uh, well, in my, in my students' group, I mentioned that we can short from 1732, right? In my group, I, I mentioned that level because uh, the 1732 level is a 618 pullback from the previous swing of this, uh, this wave. And uh, raise your hand, how many of you trade this uh, gold short? How many? Just uh, give me one if you use that, okay? If you took this trade. Yeah. When I, when I said we can short the gold from 1732, it's actually a long ping bar. This ping bar retesting this level, and I said we can short. And uh, I think now have a very good re return, okay? From 1732 to 1671. Yeah. Missed because I got the message late. Oh, okay, too bad. Okay, I think I think other some other students do have this trade, right? Okay, okay. What do now? Uh, now we can see from the four-hour chart. Uh, from the four-hour chart, we can see a double top, right? Do you agree? Is this considered a double top? Right. Yes, it is. We have a clearly we have a, a lower high and we have our neckline was broken here. Okay, so the best strategy to trade this okay will be the two six one eight trade, okay, which we want to wait for the price to rally back to the structure or to the six one eight again, and we pull the Fibonacci retracement and six one eight here one seven one eight. Okay, we don't know whether the gold can rise to one seven one eight, but we definitely want to pull our trigger. Okay, pull our trigger when the gold rally to here okay, in this zone. Basically, it's from 1709 to 1718. Okay, from this zone, we want to take a short because uh, the gold is uh, likely to have another wave down to 16071, and maybe we can even get close to 1630. Okay, 1630, some somewhere here, which is here. Okay, so that will be a a uh, short trade, okay. A short, a uh, short position that we want to create. We want to sell higher, okay, because we see a double top. Okay, this is the first top. This is second top. Okay, so whenever you see a double top and appeared in a very, very high location, correct? Okay, so let me just do one more check, uh, guys. Can we see that the gold is at a very, very high location right now? Do you agree? Do you agree? Yes, okay. It's all time high, okay, since this year. And we observed a double top at this place. And this tells us, okay, some people are selling gold at the top, correct? And the sellers win the first battle, okay? Because the seller wins the first battle after breaking 1709. Now, when the price come back to this level, okay? Do you think those people who are trapped, those buyers who are trapped at this level, what are you going to do? Just imagine, if, if you see some people buy from here, okay? And they know they, are, they were trapped. 
And if the price come back to this level, are they going to cut loss? Are they going to escape? Are they going to run as far as fast as they can so that they can avoid those big loss? Right? Yes, close their position. And if they close their position, basically they are closing their buy position. So they have to do a market sell. Am I right? <clears throat> Am I right? Okay, so let's put our mark here, all right? So just get ready when I go right to this place. And we do, if we see the candle sticks looks like this, okay, we see some pin bar from the 618, or we see some, uh, like uh, engulfing candle at a 618, okay? Like bearish engulfing, we see a candle that can cover the bottom of the previous candle, or you see an inside bar breaking down at this level. Is that a confirmation that we can short with these three price actions? Okay, listen, you have to understand what is price action, right? So this is the three price action that I'm looking for. Okay, the first one will be your, <clears throat> will be your pin bar retest or 618 at 1718. The second one will be your engulfing candle, right? So let me just put this as a green candle. Okay, you can see a green candle followed by a red candle that uh, cover the previous bottom. Okay, this, this is engulfing. And you can see another inside bar breakdown. Okay, in this case, in the, third, the third choice. So if you see the price action like this or this or this, number one, two, three, okay? And all these price actions can tell you that you can ready to sell. Okay, are we cool? Is that easy to understand that why we want to sell from 1C1A? Because we see a double top, right? And how are we going to pull our trigger? Okay, we can wait for some price action at the price level. And here, when the price hit the 1C1A, we, we observe what behavior it actually took. Okay, if it forms a pin bar or forms an inside bar breakdown or forms a bearish engulfing candle and these three criteria or these three price action can help us to, you know, to confirm that our sale is going to be right. What if the inside bar breaks down is green and not red? Okay, so yeah, if you see the inside bar breaks up, okay, breaks up, definitely we don't want to sell. And if you want to buy, yes, you can do it because inside about clear, uh, very, very clearly said that you can trade both ways. You can trade either way. You can trade up or down, right? Because inside about we can trade, uh, we can quickly took a one to one or one to two profit if there's a momentum, if there's a energy, okay? But if you see inside about breaks up the 618, definitely you don't want to sell, okay? And you should took a buy based on the inside bar if you want to took the trade, okay? Uh, you mean if open low, but anyhow, no. If open low, if it breaks down first and then shoots up, okay, definitely you just stop out. There's no such thing that you, you have an inside bar breaks down, okay, and the, the third candle goes down first to, tr to trigger your sell and then moves to the up, okay, and touch your stop loss. And, and you said, yeah, like this, how? Like this, you just stop out. Okay, follow the rules. The rule is very, very clear, okay? Because by the moment you see an inside bar breaks down first, okay, if the first ten candle breaks down, you should already sell the order first, okay? And then you just put your stop loss above the high, okay? And if the candle breaks up or turns up, turns up green again and touch your stop loss, you just have a failure of the inside bar, just exit the trade. Is that easy? Okay, so there's no such thing that what if the, the, the inside bar breaks down and breaks up, okay? If that happens, you should actually already be in the trade and be stopped out, okay? Uh, yeah, you said daily it will break out and you, you're not feeling comfortable, short go. Yeah, it's fine. You can, you can still hold your long idea, okay, by watching whether the gold can sustain above 160.71. Okay, because this is a structure that previously acting as resistance. Okay, we agreed. Okay, as acting as resistance, and it, it was break out. Okay, it was broken up, and now it's pulling back. Right, the chances that the price going higher. Okay.
okay? There is an opportunity, okay? You can maintain your long uh, bias, okay, if the gold can sustain above 1670. However, what we do find in the daily chart, this is definitely a ready base drop, okay? Just like the way it, before, it forms in last month, okay? You can see here, it's a ready base drop, okay? It, it forms a top. And in four hour, we do form a double top, right? So it's okay for us to take a sell at this zone, okay? To take sell from here, stop loss giving the previous high at here, okay? And maybe the gold will fall in our favor, just behave like what it did in the last month, okay? So this is a wave that we're going to catch. But now you have to make it your decision whether you want to risk some money to, 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 to participate in the trade, okay? And to get this high reward and risk ratio trade. If you're okay to risk like 2%, okay, into this trade, I think, yeah, it's okay to, it's okay to sell the high, right? Because trading is always about buying low and then selling high, okay? You want to buy low, you want to selling high, correct? Okay, why not? We're just picking a high. We, we sell based on the top based on the neckline, based on the 618. Make sure you sell at a good price and you'll be safe, okay? I'm not telling you to sell right now, okay? Right now, if you sell, you are chasing the price. That is not correct. Ever we want to sell the pullback, okay? Use the neckline, right? Use the 618. Are we okay? Are we okay? Okay, good. So go to pay attention to this place, all right? Because Trump definitely uh, want to save the stocks market, okay? That is how Trump want, want to do, okay? He trying to save the S&P, okay? And the price already rallied from 2,172 to 2,862. Mm -hmm. And it is getting close to where we want to sell the S&P, okay? I'm waiting for the 618 level to be touched. Okay, I'm waiting for the level to be touched, which is 2932, 2932, okay? And this place is so important because that is a previous support, okay, at this place, okay, before the infusion gap before the crash happens, okay? And I believe there are thousands of tons of buyers are trapped here and they are going to be get out, okay? When the price gets to this place and the market may turn another selling wave, okay? This is what I believe, okay? So SMP waited for 2,932, right? To sell, sell the high and find the same patterns that I, use for the gold just now, okay? Find pin bars, find inside bars, okay? Find engulfing candles, find double top, okay? Find some double top, not, not like this. This is not a, a good double top because the price didn't really break the neckline very far. It actually just uh, touched a little bit and now it reversed again, okay? But 2,932 is a very, very important level that we are going to observe our selling opportunities here, right? Good. So let's move on to the dollar index, okay? The dollar index after shooting a very high and then get back from one, uh, get rejected from one day or two. And the, S, uh, the, the dollar index now is kind of a, Sideway, correct? Right? It's sideway from this here. Okay, so it's a reject from 101, support from 98.85, and this sideway is not going to last long because in daily chart, in daily chart is actually consolidating quite a long time ago. Okay, a long, long time of consolidation, and this consolidation, once it is over, it will actually give us some directions. Personally, I feel that the, the, the dollar should go down, okay? Because this shooting up didn't really sustain above the previous high, okay? Right now, it's still above, uh, below the previous high. It's still below the 100 level, okay? 
But if we see a strong candle break out this triangle, if we see something like this, okay, then the dollar may have another move up to test 101. Okay, so just wait for the triangle to be broken to give you some directions. Okay, uh, is uh, WTI covered? Not yet, not yet. Yeah, don't worry, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to uh, touch the oil first, okay? Let's move on to the oil, okay? This uh, uh, US oil in TVC is still the, the old contract, the old contract of the, uh, the last month, okay? However, if you want to see the CL1, uh, uh, sorry, CL2, which is uh, the June, the, the next contract in front is already in 22.75, okay? So we have to use uh, uh, the, uh, the main contract of the oil, okay? I think the use of CL2 will be better, uh, and now definitely we have some good uh, strategy, okay? Because we see a touch of this pin bar. This is a pin bar. And we do see a trend line was broken, okay? You can see this uh, down trend line was broken. And, the down, uh, and the, now the daily chart is falling down. However, it's testing the previous low here, okay? So you can just make a mark of 21.32. If this level cannot be Broken cannot be solid, uh, cannot be closed firmly. Okay, we can try to buy the oil and see whether it can rally back to like 30 or 32 or 39. Okay, I think our my my first time used to be th about 30 dollar of the oil. And let's go to the 30 minute charts. What we can see? Okay, 30 minute charts. It forms are exactly the same patterns, right? The downtrend was broken. And we see the two try already happens, okay? This is first try, okay? Super long pin bar, okay? This is the second try, a hammer, okay? And now, what is this? What is this? Oh, Mihai, if S&P goes down, it doesn't really affect the dollar index, okay? The dollar index uh, is measuring the, the currency strength, not the stock market strength, okay? S&P go down, okay, maybe the dollar will go up because people are finding their cash, okay, to trade, to trade for the cash. But it may also affect the dollar because if S&P go down, means that the U.S. market gets less attractive and money is going to rushing out of USA and dollar index may go down. So it really uh, depends, okay, on what kind of a cash flow is the cash flow generally go inside the USA or outside the USA? And right now, I still believe that the cash is still going to be inside to the USA because there are emerging markets, okay? Uh, equities going down, the emergence market currency is getting weak and people are finding dollar to cover the loss, to, to cover their uh, positions, okay? And the US bond market is still good because you can see the, the, the the ZB, okay, which is uh, the US T bond future, okay. The ZB already rallied to 180, and that is a very high level. You can see uh, people are buying the US bond and the price going higher, okay. So we can see the dollar index still have some stress, but it actually didn't really have some co correlation with the uh, SMP, right? Because SMP only reflects the stocks markets. What if the money go out of stocks market and go to the bond market, okay? And the, the whole amount of the dollar still remain the same or even getting higher in the US market, all right? So this is what we want to, we want to uh, take notice of, okay? So do not just uh, singly connect the S&P with the dollar index, okay? That could give you some wrong, wrong information, all right? Ping said, uh, you have to go out. Uh, sure, no problem, sir. Uh, yeah. Okay, Nelson Wu said, uh, Marubuzo Ba. Yes, correct. Okay, so we already see the CL2 gives us uh, the Marubuzo Ba in 30 minute charts. Okay, and why shouldn't we take a buy after this breakout? Right? We just take a buy from here. And all we need to do is to put your stop loss below the previous ping here. Okay, and if the price covered to here to fill this gap of today, because today is Monday, we have a gap, opening gap here, right? It's 25.
okay? And by, by doing that, our risk reward ratio already covers two to one, right? It's 2.46 to one. And what if the oil have to rally back to the previous neckline, which is 28, you can measure that reward is very good. It's about six times, okay? So imagine you just risk $200 for this trade, the maximum gain you may get is $1,200, and the maximum loss is only 200. So 200 for 1,200. Do you think it's okay to buy the oil? Because we already find the patterns here. We already see the sellers trying so hard to sell, sellers trying another sell to here, but it failed by this hammer, which means some people are buying. And these people are very strong. They can stop the price to continue going down. Am I right? Can I say that? Okay, so we just make use of these buyers, okay? If, this, if these buyers are still going to be buying the oil when the price coming back to this level, we will be okay because they are going to keep their buying orders in safe and they are going to push the price for us. Right? And we are trading because of this marabouz bar, because of this uh, breakout and pullback. Okay, and now there's an inside bar here. If this inside bar breaks up, definitely we want to take a buy. Okay, it's really cheap because if you see the, the previous contract, okay, this is very, very abnormal. Okay, the previous contract of oil, okay, is already hit at 10.95, which is $11 per barrel. Wow, that is, that is crazy, come on. It's really, really crazy. Okay, we, we, we definitely have a very, very super low price at oil almost to go back to 1,000, the year 1,999, okay, which is $10, okay. I think that is come, kind of a, some political <laughs> uh, price to, 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 to check, okay. Yeah, you can see 1,987, $10, 1,999, $10, but if you count the depreciation of dollar index, how much more money the, the USA government print? Do you think that oil only worth ten dollar twenty years ago? Okay, twenty years ago it was ten dollar, right? But now the 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 QE happens. We almost have like double or triple of the the the, the U.S. dollar supply printed from the U.S.A. government. Okay, and the oil just getting to this price. Uh, Nicholas says, uh, when the oil goes down from, nine, uh, 11, from 19 to 11, 11, how come the CL2 only fell $4? Yeah, because it's different contract. And now the contract that are trading in the last month is getting lower and lower, so the price may even uh, move uh, faster than the, this month's contract, okay? Because the less liquidity, okay? So uh, the, the, the decreasing of the interest to trade the previous contract Okay, because only have like one day or two days, the contract have it, will be end, and you can no more see the price at $10. And the, the CL2 already uh, shows you that the price is at 22, okay? So we are going to trade the oil based on this uh, our downtrend line was broken and our engulfing candle happens, okay, this hammer, okay? Maybe we can get a very, very good price. We can use a 618, which is 22.44, okay? So if the price really come to 22.44, I want you guys to calculate your risk, okay? 22.44, stop loss giving to 21.80, that is about uh, uh, 60 pips, okay? And you can basically trade like 0 0.5 lots, and you're risking $300 to capture this gain. Why brand does not go down, same like WTI and spread between so much, yeah. It just tells you the market is abnormal, okay? The market is quite crazy at this moment because the WTI's price is really, really at a very, very low price, but yet still some sellers want to sell the WTI, okay? And no big players come to buy the WTI. The, the liquidity is getting lower, okay? If you trade the, the UK oil, you can see that it actually didn't really fall that much, correct? Okay, the UK oil moves uh, more smooth. Yeah, so when it, it's actually a, a, a risk, but also a chance, okay? 
in this uh, WTI market, right? It's just up to you whether you would like to take the risk and to capture the opportunity. Yeah, so my suggestion is you need to find some patterns and you need to be very, very patient and you need to be very, very careful, okay? You, can, you need to calculate your entry, calculate your risk, calculate your stop loss level, and you do some profit taking actions when the, when, it, uh, when the price gives you a two to one reward and risk ratio and the move sub us to break even to have a, a risk free trade, right? You need to do some to do a lot of uh, series of uh, moves of the price, uh, the pro, pro traders move, okay? To maintain your profit, to, to lower down your risk. Yan Chen said, is there a good chance to enter a long position to WTI by inside by strategy? Yeah, definitely. Just find some, any strategy that works for a bull, okay? We want to trade, a, like for example, okay? Let me just find out three, three points for you guys to buy the oil, okay? The first one already said, okay? The downtrend line was broken. You can use a 618 to buy if it gives you this chance, okay? So, Move to 618, you buy, shoots up, okay? Then you may consider to trade the structure breakout strategy, okay? If the 23.34 if the 23 was broken, okay, you wait for another pullback, okay? Trying to get the pullback and to, to catch a second wave, okay? After the price rally to 25, because it already have this uh, support, previous support, now becomes uh, resistance, you need to take some profit and get ready to, to draw a new Fibonacci level and get ready to buy the oil for another 618 at 23. Okay, so I immediately can give you guys three potential buying opportunities. Okay, can you see that? So this is what I predict the market, okay? The first wave, pull back, we buy, okay? Break high, pull back, we buy, getting some profit and waiting for the price to come back to 618 again, and you can just buy it again, okay? And then the fourth opportunity will come here, okay? When the new high was created, break out, pull back, buy again, okay? So this is number four. Okay, and then after it break 25, it becomes a very, very bullish market, correct? And then the price will become into a very, very easy way to trade. You just need to buy the pullback, break high, buy the pullback, okay? Just continue to buy the pullback and take some profit. And all the way, I want you guys to hit the target of 30. Yeah, the USO ETF is a good time to buy. Yes, it is. It is. You, can, you can buy some USO, definitely. Okay, yeah. No problem. All right, so this is what I predict the market, but it didn't, the market doesn't need to, to, work, to move the same way as I predict. But the interesting thing is the, the price levels, okay, is very, very critical for us to observe, right? Since the price didn't break new low, okay, can we buy from here? Are we buying low? Yeah. Buying low, okay, shoots up, we earn money. Pulling back, are we buying low? Yes, we are buying the pullback. Okay, and shoots up, we earn another money. Okay, and then I just use another big 618 to buy from here to enter another big move, okay? And pull back, we buy until it really goes into a bullish market. Okay, just keep ready, base, ready, ready, base, ready. Just like something like we did in the past, okay? Pull back, sell, pull back, sell, pull back, sell, right? The markets will turn in that way. This is a bearish move. And this is a reversal pattern. And when, re and re when reversal pattern was complete, it will become to a, what kind of market is that, guys? Do we have to worry about the negative or all yield cost by oil feature? And, and yes, you need to calculate some, uh, about the, 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 that is a cost to holding the USO, right? Right? But if you are using the buy and hold strategy, I think it's fine because you just, you just need to buy and hold and wait for the oil to double the price. If the price appreci appreciation can beat the contango, definitely you are going to be a profit. Yeah, in a very good trade. 
Yeah. So this is what, what we are expecting. Okay. We are expecting a reversal here. Okay. Reversal. So this is how normally the market moves. Okay. Guys, I repeat, this is a market cycle. All right. The market always goes down. Okay. From a high place to a low place by entering, by showing you a bearish wave. Okay. This is a bearish wave. And after the bearish wave end, the bearish wave end at where? And especially when a very, very big players comes, like this pink bar or this second test, but cannot break new low, okay? Then it come, becomes to a reversal, right? Reversal patterns, when the price come to a very low place, okay? It is really a low place, okay? Correct? 32 to 22, already 1,000 pips. Does the short, does the seller need to take their profit? Yes. Will the buyer to kick in to buy at low? Yes. Okay, so the bearish move will become, will fight with the bulls, okay, at the reversal pattern. And when reversal pattern complete, okay, it forms a bullish wave. Okay, so this is a market cycle. They're always doing something like this, okay? Lower low, lower low, lower low, no more lower low, okay? And a higher high, okay? And followed by a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high becomes bullish wave. This is how the market transformed from a bearish to a bullish. And this, this arrow, okay? This place that I mentioned will be some point for us to catch the entire bullish move imagine you buy from here imagine buy from here imagine buy from the 620 buy from the right breakout and pullback your ultimate goal is to catch the bullish move correct and you know that this very sweet profit okay of course i would like to join the trade earlier i don't want to join the trade when i see the Oh, you already reversed at here. And it can see, oh yeah, it reversed. Now it's bullish market, let's buy. And then you're buying very, very extreme high price. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, so if you want to buy, you better buy, better, uh, buy at a very low price with a low risk, with a limited risk, but okay, very, very high reward. And that is what I'm going to do. Uh, Jack, does a swap free account doesn't need to pay swap or you're just currency. Okay, the oil is a future contract. Okay, so if you trade a WTI, okay, or FS, okay, this is a future contract. Future contract, you don't need to pay the lower fees during the month. Okay, but when the contract end and you still want to hold your position, you need to pay a lower fee with a contract change. Not daily, but monthly. Okay, but currency is different. Okay, because currency we are trading spot currency like the euro. Okay, you need to pay the swap fee okay, every day. Okay, you need to pay the dollar yen. There is a yeah rollover fee every day. It's different, all right? Okay, let's move on. So let's get back to euro dollar. Okay, the euro. Uh, we are clearly. I said we can buy from last time. We buy from one point zero point seven. Okay. And the first target was hit to 1.09, okay? And now the euro just come back again. And looks, it find a very good support from this uh, structure here, which is a neckline of the previous double bottoms, right? Okay, so as long as the euro can still maintain about 1.0830, we are okay to buy the euro. We are okay to buy the euro from here. To enjoy to 1.11, okay? That is uh, what I'm thinking, okay? So we are using the support of this uh, higher low, okay? Higher low, remember? See, the low is getting higher, okay? Of course, you can see that, yeah, the high is getting lower as well. No worry, it's just a triangle. Come on, it's just a triangle, right? Okay, but now it's at the bottom of the triangles. So we're gonna buy, and if it is break up, we earn a lot of money. Okay, so euro is okay to buy. Yep. Okay, sterling. Sterling, um, have a very nice rally last week. Okay, it rallies about uh, 400 pips. Okay, which I mentioned that we last time when I said uh, the the study, we want to pay attention to this structure. 
1.22, right? So 1.22 follows by your, this kind of a ping bar. It actually tells you, yeah, you can go, go for buy. This is a reversal and the price may continue going up. Okay, and now it actually found another support at a previous high here, this place, okay? So uh, I would like to ask you guys to pay attention to this level, which is 1.2415, okay? So this is a supporting level of the sterling. So if the sterling, you can find some support, okay? Support again, support again, okay? You can buy sterling from here and it may have another rally, okay? We trade what we see. We see the support testing the structure, testing, 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 fail to break down. Okay, go for buy. Rafael says, can we buy Euro Yen? Let's see. Yeah, Euro Yen daily chart. Mm, looks like the daily chart of the Euro Yen, it's uh, kind of uh, hitting some support at this level, okay? The 116 level. And you can see this uh, candle already touched, okay, in the inside bar form. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with you got your idea to buy the euro yet at this place. Okay, it may go to go back to 120. So you have about at least 300 pips to touch this place. Okay, but from weekly chart, okay, the euro yen uh, is not very good because the 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 bottoms. Okay, there are still some space at 114 to 109. Okay, so yeah, then that really depends on your trading time frame, whether you're going to hold the euro yen at a very long spine or you're just doing just a quick trade, okay? So if you're sh buying short term, I'm okay. But if you want to buy a very, very low price, I will prefer to wait for 114, 114, okay? Yeah. You can use uh, this price action here, that one time, two touch, three, four, okay? Four touch but cannot break 115. That is how you can rely on this structure, correct? Yeah, you can rely on this pin bar. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Trade what you see, okay? All right, so move on to Aussie. Aussie have a beautiful rally since our last webinar at here, okay? And I said, break up, pull back. We want to buy the Aussie, and Aussie really do a good job. Now it's back to 0 0.6393. And I'm thinking, um, yeah, I would like still to wait for the price to come back to 0 0.6237 to buy the Aussie again. Okay. I want to buy the low. Okay. So Aussie focus on buy the low. The same happens on the Kiwi, Kiwi as well. You can see the higher lows already occurred. Okay. ILO, 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 okay? So get this, get this uptrend, okay? So that you may in, enjoy another 200 pips or 400 pips move. Buy the low of the Kiwi. Look, that's like a bearish wedge. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a bearish wedge, but the upside room is still uh, uh, very high. I think the Kiwi will come back to at least still 0.60. Still some room for the Kiwi, okay? So if there's a pullback, you can consider buy. See whether you can cap capture this move, okay? Because this is a very, very big bearish candle and there's nothing left inside of the sellers, okay? All the sellers has already entered the trade and the sellers already took the profit here. So if the price shoots up again, I don't think this uh, bearish candle will sustain. It will be covered, okay? To at least the origin, okay? And this is a higher lows. High highs. Okay, so buy the low of the Kiwi dollar. Move on to dollar Canadian. Dollar Canadian is sideways recently and it find a very good support at its 1.38. Okay, a very strong candle moves up. However, it failed to create another high. So I think the dollar Canadian will have another test of this level gain of 1.39. And if the price come to here, it may also form a harmonic patterns here. Something like this. Okay. I think we can trade this harmonic patterns to capture a bounce from this level. Okay. I don't know whether, how far they can go, but if I want to buy, I would definitely, I would wait 1.39. Uh, for the dollar Canadian, is that a... 
one student is locked out. Uh, yeah, I know because the 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 maximum participant of this uh, webinar is only capped at 100 people, so some people may not come in because if there's more people go out, it's already full of the room. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Andy. Is that a descending wedge breakout? Descending wedge? What is that? You mean here? You mean this? Yeah, it is. It is a descending wedge, okay? But you, your, uh, my question is, if you want to trade, where are you going to buy? Are you going to buy here or here, or if you prefer, we can buy the here, at this place? At the origin of the bullish move. Right, I agree with you, I want to buy, but I want to buy here. I don't want to chase the price. Okay, that's the point. All right. Okay, let's move on to S&P. S&P, very interesting to watch. Okay, you got Trump want to save the market and yeah, it, looks, uh, it did recover a lot of uh, levels. Okay, but I'm still waiting for 2,932 to short. Okay, so S&P wait for it to come to this level to find some place to short. And most importantly, you can use this channel. Okay. And we can we, you can we can wait for the price to come back to 2092, okay? Sorry, 2932, 2932, and force down breaks this trend line, okay? If you can break the trend line, it just tells you, okay, this or this whole move has already ended. Okay, this is a correction move. Correction move and going to be a major move, okay. Yeah, so waiting for this uh, wedge to be break down. Okay? And I think 2,932 is a good place to watch that. Ruffle said, is bullish one hour flag leading to 600? Yeah, maybe. But are you, do you want to buy here? You know that there are some sellers from here, right? <laughs> okay, don't, don't, buy, don't buy now. Okay, don't buy now. If you want to buy, you buy the pullback. Okay, buy from 2,822, I think that would be a good price because your risk will be only this much. Okay, but if you buy here, your risk is this much. And even when the price go to 2,032, you are not getting a very high quality trade. Okay, about 1.8 to 1, but I don't want to buy here now. Okay, because if you want to buy, you should buy the inside bar here, right? You should buy the inside about breakout here. Oh, you bought some stocks couple couple of weeks ago. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Royal Caribbean Lines. You mean the individual stock RCL? Okay, let's just figure out what the stock's doing. Hmm, it drops from one thirty. Okay, Royal Caribbean Cruise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, if you want to, if you want to ask me about whether the cruise industry will be covered soon, no. Because now you can definitely see that the, the coronavirus, okay, affects the whole world. And China is uh, currently the most successful country in fighting against this virus, right? And do you think, do you believe people still dare to go to the cruise? To, to, to travel? No. No. So I will worry about the, the future of this industry. Okay. And this company may still sustain, okay, but it's very, very hard for it to aim to earn money. But if you took another uh, spike of this, uh, uh, you took another angle, okay, the price already dropped from 135 to 37, okay almost like 80%, okay? Whether you want to buy from 20, yeah, go for it, go for it. But you, you may need to a very, very long time for it to cover back, okay? I think when will this stock goes up is the, when the coronavirus was controlled, at least the USA was controlled. $5 for three weeks, yeah. 
but that's a that's you know that's just a boosting of promotion right to 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 attract people go for the cruise however i mean you ask yourself do you dare to go for cruise travel right now at this moment nicholas if i give you five dollars do you really dare want to go to the cruise for holidays for three weeks no of course not right yeah and yeah that same people will holding the same thoughts because the health the the security the safety will come first I don't care whether it's a five dollar trip or five hundred dollar trip, right? We'll be worrying about our health uh, condition. So as long as the coronavirus still there, it's hard for it to go grow up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Last but not least, Bitcoin. Bitcoin uh, still in this uh, bullish. Um, channel okay i think the bitcoin will touch 6700 very very soon so if you want to buy you can still buy some okay you can still buy some bitcoin because uh, the recent rally already t tells you the 6600 is very very good price and it actually is a 618 level of the previous rally okay the 618 from this move okay you can see that just touched nicely of the 618 and ready from 6,600. So I think the Bitcoin is still ready, going to hit 7,600 first, and even 8,800, 9,000. Okay, so yeah, you can still hold some Bitcoin loans. Uh, and same for the Ethereum. Okay, good rally. Makes a uh, neckline was broken here. You can see our strategy was very, very successful. Okay, you can see this uh, multiple bottoms was broken and pull back to the structure come back okay so ethereum already hit this uh, level of 200 okay i think uh yeah you can still you can still go in hold uh my aim will be 225 okay 225 for the ethereum to take some profit of this place and for the ltc yep okay to buy from 40 okay o okay to buy from 40 is uh Good to to, yeah. Aim fifty eight. I think the LTC will will go come back to this level. Gold, please. Yeah, sure. Gold I already covered. Okay. Wait for the price to come back to one seven one eight to short. Of course, you can consider to buy the gold because there's a small double bottom here. Okay. All right. So double bottom formed, you can go for a buy, see where the price go, can rally to 1715. Okay, took some profit up here and go for a short position at this level to sell again. Okay. Yeah, it's already covered of the gold. I think you complete. Dollar yen. Well, wow. dollar yen um, may go down. Okay, dollar yen may go down. Because this rally already finished, didn't really break new high. Okay, we're getting higher lows. Oh, sorry, lower highs. But if this this line was broken, okay, go for short it. Go for short. Dot again. Shanghai Composite up. Okay. If you want to ask which market should I choose in terms of stocks market, China. Okay, go for China. This is Shanghai Composite. Okay, if you want to buy some Shanghai shares or Shenzhen shares, go for it. It will go up. It will go up okay, because China has already recovered 99% of the industries. Okay, China has already been the number one of the mask producing country. Okay, China is going to be supplying all the masks, supplying all the breathing machine, okay, the ventilator to all over the world. And you can see the power the power of the chinese government in fighting the virus and helping other countries okay so and i live in shanghai now and what i observe is okay shanghai has already recovered 90 percent of the prosperity okay compared to the last year compared to the you know when the coronavirus before the coronavirus right okay People go to the pub, people go to the KTV, people go to the uh, the, the restaurant, okay? Yeah, 
of course, we still using the masks when we go outside, but the the atmosphere, the environment is getting better. Okay, retrieving ninety percent of their normal daily activities. So I will be confident in Chinese stocks. Singapore, Singapore consider lockdown now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So God bless us and see you. I really hope the coronavirus will be end soon. And I think maybe we will have a pills or medicine to cure the disease. That would be the best. Yeah. But if you read from the scientific article, right? I think the coronavirus is not fatal. Okay? It is not fatal. It only attacks those people who are overaged, who already have some other medical conditions. Okay, but if if for for strong and health people, even it catch the coronavirus. Uh, yeah, as long as he received good treatment, okay, receives good medical help, support, he will be covered. Okay, so I'm still confident of this. This war against the virus, yeah. But I'm, I'm this. Uh, I'm disappointed with uh, Trump's government. Okay, he actually makes a lot of lies, and uh, he's trying to, you know, to to tell the people that it's not his fault, and it's China's fault. <laughs> okay, trying to, you know, to 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 run away from the liabilities or from the responsibilities, right? Yeah, kind of a play some tricks. So I think the U.S. economy will go down. It really hurts the economy because people getting jobless, okay, and the government has to print more money to help the people in the U.S. Okay, but if you print so much money, okay, what would be the value of the dollar? Okay, what would be the value of your stock? Your company didn't can uh, cannot earn any money. And how can the stock price still sustain at a high level? Correct. Yeah, so that's what I'm concerned, right? All these three frank buy. Okay, all these three frank is a monthly trade. Okay. I tell you that all these three frank is okay to buy and hold to 0 0.80. So there will be a about a six thousand two thousand pips gain of here. Okay, so go for it. Go for it. All this risk frank. Okay to buy the low. Max, what is gold? Already mentioned. You just missed that. Okay. So if you want if you want to see my view of gold, you can wait for some while. Wait after I upload the trade the videos, recordings to YouTube. Can you do a review of Singapore STI? Sure. It's three times. Okay. Mm. Bearish. The STI may go to 1,800. Okay. The STI may go back to the place at 208. Okay. So this is a, just a bounce. A bounce and then we we'll have another crash. A monthly chart. So don't buy STI. Focus on sell high. How to contact you, sir? You don't need to contact me. Can just join my Facebook group. Okay, my Facebook group is Project Students Club. Okay, and you can just go to the YouTube.com/slash project to find my videos. Okay, and my official website will be HarmonicAsia.com. Yeah, you can find me here. Okay, you can learn the course from me. You can learn what, how I think, how I trade. Other strategies I use. Okay, I will provide a pro trader transformation course for you guys. All right, so yeah, I think I already covered all the marks and see whether we can have some good trade, especially the oil, especially the gold, and the Aussie. Yeah. And last but not least, I wish all of you a good health. Okay, stay safe. Put on your mask. Okay. Stand. You know, keep some distance with the other people when you go to buy or go outside, okay? Yeah, health comes first.
okay, and I wish you also trade well, sleep well, eat well, and, <clears throat> and let's see each other next week. Thank you guys. Yeah, all the best. Bye-bye.